Yep, here I am with another video. What you see is that it's a 1967 Mustang convertible. And I'm going to show you how you can uh, put all those crumbs together in a, in a center console. First, you have to make sure you have the right part. And then uh, you will have to uh, remove the seat. Always. Uh, it is so hard to try to uh, put the center console without removing the seat. So make sure that even if you remove the seat, uh, you will have in like a hard time putting that center console. See right there, I am making sure it fit perfect. On some center console, you have to make some adjustment, like cut them on the side or cut them on the front. That's why you have to make sure it fit before you start making some adjustment. This is a 1967 uh, Mustang and a 1969 Mustang. That console, you have to make a small adjustment. And here I have all those parts. In the United States, there are a lot of places where you can buy it. Uh, it's just uh, you have to search them online and they will come out a lot of places. Uh, some of them are uh, cheaper than other one. This The price of this one is between $600 and $700 for all those parts. Um, the customer body, I'm just going to uh, put in all those pieces together. And make sure to uh, take those uh, chrome out of the boxes and put them on there. Make sure it fit because as soon as you start uh, uh, putting together, if it's something is wrong, you won't be able to complete uh, the whole uh, process. Right there is a, like a door. This is the part that I'm going on there. And you will see it, how that part go in there. I'm going to start with the front part. When you buy it, they will send you two wire. Look how those wires look. And then you have to put uh, one on the top. And you will see the shape that those wires have. On the bottom, you have to screw it to the plastic or the center console. You have to uh, put that part in and you have to make pressure because it's not going in easily. You have to use a flat screwdriver, force it a little bit, and that part will go in. That is in. So by the bottom of the center console, the part it has to be over the plastic. So I got that part in. See how like a three hole on its, its side. On one of those holes, you have to put a screw. The small holes. They send you all those screws. I will show you, see, there is one hole, there is another hole, just make sure to line up. On those other holes that you see on that plastic, you have to screw it to the car. They send you those tin ups and they send you that small fillet screw. So just start um, tying them up. See right there, you have to put the tin up. That way uh, those screws uh, won't come out. Right there is a, a have to put a, a cable in there, but uh, that will be at the end. So I just went, I wanna make sure this part uh, is working. I have to open and close the, the door. And to make sure that I have to tighten this small screw. So that part is on, so now it has to open and see if it's work. And you can see it's work. So after that, I will put this light. You can put this light after. I will put them on right now. Just make sure to don't scratch. The plastic have a two hole. That light has two cable. You have to put those cable through those hole on this model. Make sure to, you will hear like a click when you hear that noise. So that means that part is in the right place. After that, you will uh, put two small uh, screw, Phillips. Don't tie it too much. Remember, it's plastic.
and that part is done. So now I will put this. You can put this as the last two. Uh, Sometimes the customer asks, uh, tell you which way did he want it. Make sure it's working before you put them on. You can go like this. I will put them on like that. This is for the people who are in the rear seat. In case if he, uh, they smoke, they will put the hatches in there. So now I'm going to put this at uh, Chrome. It comes with uh, six pins, and those pins have to go through that hole or that center console. Make sure go in, and there is in. They send you all those parts. They send you those uh, nut, and you have to put those nut in there. Start by hand. And never use a power tool to tie those nut. Never use it. Because those pins uh, look like if they are, are strong, but they are not. Especially, uh, this in the console is aftermarket. So, uh, if you use a power tool, you might end up breaking those pin. See, I have a sock, uh, two driver. Then I put an extension for the socket and I tighten it by hand. I tie uh, those six uh, nut already. You can see this cable. They send you this cable too. Make sure when if you are going to buy it, make sure to ask for it. Make sure those cable are in there. Otherwise, you have to buy it separately. Before to uh, put that cable, they send you those little plastic like a hood. You have to uh, put it with Philip. And I will put one on the front too, and one more right here. And using a, a, a wireless uh, screw gun, but I, I regulate the power. So that cable is there. So I'm going to put inside that plastic. That is to keep it in, in that position. So and I'm going to put it right here, but I'm going to move it up the front. Why? Because I'm going to remove one small screw just to uh, put the black cable on one of those screws. That is the ground. So I made sure to grab that cable with a T-nut and there it is so that cable go inside there and this plastic is called on the front I always put it when the center console is inside the car but you can see how that plastic going in there I will remove it but that way you can have an idea how that plastic assembly on there. So here's one more chrome. I will put this when the center console is in the car, but I just showing you how that part will fit in there. So there it is. I will take it to the car, but look how everything fit. Nice, huh? It's nice. Make sure everything is working. Make sure those cables are placing rice. And you have to connect it to the back. So now, when you're done putting all those pieces together, now you have to uh, put the center console inside the car. Make sure to connect it. Make sure.
if you are going to run the cable from the battery and uh, make sure you are doing right i am not running from the battery the cable are right there and i just connect it so after i connect i push it you have to uh push all the way forward and then you will put this chrome and now you can tie that chrome he had three screw a small screw but before that I am putting this nut make sure the button go in and out so make sure it's working make sure it move back and forth and I am tightening that three small screw. I will put two more screws on the front. As you can see, it is strong. This end of the console is done. I put three screws on the driver side and three screws on the passenger side of the center console. I use the same hole right there uh, before the customer say I have a center console. And I just look for the old holes. I didn't drill a new hole, so on the front, as you can see it right there, I put two screws. There is like a metal and I screw it to that metal. So that's the way uh, that center console is supposed to be. And you can see it. It's a 1967 Mustang convertible. So thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoy it. If that was the case, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you uh, in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.